future consumerism. Renok Chowdhury noticed something right away whenever he attended blockchain tech meetups. Everyone there was at least twice my age. Blockchain is the decentralized distributed ledger technology that makes cryptocurrency transactions like Bitcoin run. It has major implications for banking and supply chain industries by reducing the need for intermediary parties. Tech giants like Amazon, Microsoft, and IBM are already exploring it, but it likely won't be mainstream for another 10 or 20 years. At that time, you're not going to be the principal consumer. The principal consumer will be the adults of that working world, which will are right now the high school and college students. That's why the 18-year-old decided to start Blockchains for Schools. Blockchains for Schools connects high school and college students to the blockchain industry through mentorships and contests like the Hack BFS Ideation Challenge. University of California Santa Barbara senior Alexis Delandez was part of the winning team. I didn't expect it. I mean, we we uh, we did a, we had a great team, we did a good project, but you know, it's always a surprise. Delandez and his team came up with the idea for Easy Ether a smart contract that prevents money loss when blockchain tokens are transferred from one digital wallet to another. We won uh, an interview with, uh, with a Mozilla incubator, and if they like our project, they can invest uh, more than $70,000. It was actually really impressive because a lot of them came very prepared. They already had questions that they were going to ask, and they you know, obviously thought through this a lot. Anthony Lasardi works at blockchain startup Digital Asset and is a student mentor. The entire space has barely existed for 10 years now, and so that's about the amount of time it takes to become an expert. When the technology is so new that no formal education exists for it, Blockchains for Startups promotes learning through doing. Tina Trin, VOA News, New York. 